in optics and radio communications, a Fresnel zone, named for physicist Augustin Jean Fresnel, is one of a number of concentric ellipsoids which define volumes in the radiation pattern of a circular aperture. Fresnel zones result from diffraction by the circular aperture. The cross-section of the first Fresnel zone is circular. Subsequent Fresnel zones are annular in cross-section, and concentric with the first. Importance of Fresnel zones, if unobstructed, radio waves will travel in a straight line from the transmitter to the receiver. But if there are reflective surfaces along the path, such as bodies of water or smooth terrain, the radio waves reflecting off those surfaces may arrive either out of phase or in phase with the signals that travel directly to the receiver. Waves that reflect off of surfaces within an even Fresnel zone are out of phase with the direct path wave and reduce the power of the received signal. Waves that reflect off of surfaces within an odd Fresnel zone are in phase with the direct path wave and can enhance the power of the received signal. Sometimes this results in the counterintuitive finding that reducing the height of an antenna increases the signal to noise ratio. Fresnel provided a means to calculate where the zones are, where a given obstacle will cause mostly in phase or mostly out of phase reflections between the transmitter and the receiver. Obstacles in the first Fresnel zone will create signals with a path length phase shift of 0 to 180 degrees, in the second zone they will be 180 to 360 degrees out of phase, and so on. Even numbered zones have the maximum phase cancelling effect and odd numbered zones may actually add to the signal power. To maximize receiver strength, one needs to minimize the effect of obstruction loss by removing obstacles from the radio frequency line of sight. The strongest signals are on the direct line between transmitter and receiver and always lie in the first Fresnel zone. Determining Fresnel Zone Clearance The concept of Fresnel Zone Clearance may be used to analyze interference by obstacles near the path of a radio beam. The first zone must be kept largely free from obstructions to avoid interfering with the radio reception. However, some obstruction of the Fresnel zones can often be tolerated. As a rule of thumb the maximum obstruction allowable is 40%, but the recommended obstruction is 20% or less. For establishing Fresnel zones, first determine the RF line of sight, which in simple terms is a straight line between the transmitting and receiving antennas. Now the zone surrounding the RF loss is said to be the Fresnel zone. The general equation for calculating the Fresnel zone radius at any point P in between the endpoints of the link is the following where, Fn equals the nth Fresnel zone radius in meters, d1 equals the distance of p from one end in meters, d2 equals the distance of p from the other end in meters, equals the wavelength of the transmitted signal in meters, the cross-sectional radius of each Fresnel zone is the longest at the midpoint of the RF loss, shrinking to a point at the antenna on each end. For practical applications, it is often useful to know the maximum radius of the first Fresnel zone. From the above formula, the following formulas can be derived, using, and. Now we have an easy way to calculate the radius of the first Fresnel zone, knowing the distance between the two antennas and the frequency of the transmitted signal. In SI, where, R equals radius in meters, D equals total distance in kilometers, F equals frequency transmitted in gigahertz. Or in imperial units, where. R equals radius in feet, D equals total distance in miles, F equals frequency transmitted in gigahertz. See also References uh, This article incorporates a public domain material from the General Services Administration document Federal Standard 1037C. External links, Fresnel Zone Calculator and Elevation Chart, Fresnel Zone Calculator, Fen Fresnel Zone Calculator, more Fresnel Zone details, Ari Sheriff, Understanding the Fresnel Zone, Microwave Radio Propagation, a primer for digital experimenters.